Yesterday what we saw in the, in the afternoon, the violence, the death, the burning, the, the destruction of property, that is, was not envisioned by the crafters of our constitution. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The first question I'm asking myself, why every is the same thing? We have done a lot before election. I was here with many clergy here. We talked about peace before, during, and after election. Why every time, Kenyans, when will we learn about this? Why? Whom are we fighting for? This is a good question, but you will ask yourself, we don't understand these things. Now, nowadays, it's uh, hectic even for us to think about that. Things are not good. And most things that uh, even I, I did not like, which affected me, looting. Like what they did that in Kamakis, that Northland farm, that was uh, unaccept unacceptable. We can't accept things like that. Why are we doing such things, Kenyans? This is not first time. This is not second time. You know, there are certain people, they take advantage of this. Maybe some politicians, they call it peaceful demonstration. But there are thugs there, there are looters there, they take advantage of this. But all the years, is the same thing. This is our country. We look where we came from. There was corona. There was this locust. There was hunger and drought in this country. We are not yet to heal all these calamities that we got it again. We add other things up about this. And don't forget, in holy books, Almighty God say that Allah will not change people till they change their mind. They mm. change themselves. Mm. All the years you don't change ourselves, the same thing. So this is calamity. Kenyans, I don't know, because most of us, we don't go to churches, we don't go to mosques or temples. We don't fear Almighty God. I swear if somebody fear the Almighty God, you know everything that you are doing. You oppress someone. You do something which is not right. You loot. You go, you burn church, you burn mosque, you burn someone's business. Maybe you can be so clever, you can run from police, you can run from government, you can run from others. But put in mind, you can't run from Almighty God. You can't run from Almighty God. Everything you are doing, Everything you are doing, it's accountable for. So Kenyans, and these people we are fighting for, they are friends. They do all the things. They wine together. They din together. They are eating together. All the things they are doing together. They just tell us, do this and this and this. Politicians, they have brainwashed us. And it's high time. It's high time. Even our churches and mosques. We should stand firm even with these politicians. There are certain words in churches and mosques which changes and affects these things. If it's prayers meeting or it's prayers not giving, why we talk about destruction? We will take someone's wealth. You know, when you face Almighty God, it's peaceful. You ask anything you want. You appreciate your health. Maybe you got leadership. But you'll see a lot of these things like the way we started show. It comes from a lot in churches, certain churches. Pastor, we give them, these people, this chance. If you invite a politician, you should give them some roots in this church. We don't talk politics. If you come in here, we talk about God, the verse from Bible, mm. the verse from Quran. That's more than enough. Politics, wait, Kamukuji, wait, Uhurupak. Go to your start with crowd, talk that. Because churches, it's place where yeah. we worship the Almighty God. Yes. Yeah. So you see, this is the thing. So it's high time, religious leaders, all of us, churches, mosques, the place of worship, we should stand firm and we guide the Kenyans especially the youth, because they're the one brainwashed about these things.